Welcome back. So we're we're still here. Um, let's talk about before we continue. I want to talk about CRUD. CRUD is the meat of any database. It's the things we we can do to a database. We can create. That's the C in the CRUD. We can read. We can update and we can delete. So this term right here, I'll just mark it over here. CRUD is actually used every time we talk data manipulation. So CRUD is the term for recreate, read, update, and delete. And and I found this guy on uh, on Wikipedia, but I noticed there's no Mongo in here. Sad panda. But I'll figure it out for. I'll tell you what these terms mean in the Mongo. So create is insert inside an SQL database. It's actually the same for the Mongo. We tried that already, but let's do it just one more time just to show you the insert. I'm going back to my huge student list here and um, let's just scroll down a bit here. Yeah. So let's start out with just inserting a new guy. Let's make a new another Joe and make him 22 years old. I'll press enter. Now the Joe is inserted. So that's how we do the insert. We tried that already, so you should know that. What's the second one? The read. Well, you already tried that as well. Let's do a read. It's just um, db.student, that's the collection name, dot read, and the parentheses. That's how we read. Whoa, I did it wrong. The student dot find, of course. Sorry, my bad. Because read is actually find in the Mongo database. So there we can see all my different students and there's a lot in there now so we'll we'll remove some some very soon but what do we want to make it pretty well then we have to write pretty in the end like this so now we can show them in a different way that's another way to read the data well what if we want to instead of not read everybody we just want to read everybody with the name of bill well then i make another um json object inside my find and here I write the name that I want to find. I only want to find the ones with the name of Bill now. Let's try and do that. Now it only finds one. And if I want to make Bill pretty, I'll add the pretty in the end here to make Bill pretty. Okay, what if I want to instead of finding Bill, uh, I want to find Joe and I want to find him on this specific ID right here that Mongo provided for me. This ID will always be unique in the Mongo database. So I'll copy this ID right here and I'll say I want to find the guy with the underscore ID of... Ah, press the wrong button there. Let's just kill that. And I actually just left the Mongo. Sorry about that. I'll use my student app. Oh, you can see how we get the database back. <laughs> Let me just try and find again. And I want to find the guy with the ID of, let me just paste this guy in here. By the way, if you don't remember how to paste in the command prompt, you'll just right click and it'll pop up automatically. Don't worry, we'll get away from the command prompt soon and start using other tools. Um, so now I want to find the student with this specific ID and you can see now I found Joe because he has that ID. I can also do other things. I can say, I want to find all the Joes in here. So instead of finding all the bills, let's find all the Joes. Just notice I won't just find one, I'll actually find three Joes in my application. So that's the read, that's the way we can read specific information from the database depending on different properties. Well, what else do we have? We have an update. If we want to update stuff, it gets a bit more complex. So let me show you the update because if I go into my, I'll show you where this is in a second because I want to do this as an exercise. But inside the CRUD tutorials, there's actually a modified document field. I'll go in there and I'll scroll down and here's the way you do an update. You don't need all of this information, so let me just show you the bare minimum to do an update. First, I need to write database as always. I need to write student because that's the collection I want to update. Then I need to write update. And then I have a start parenthesis and I'll add my first object in here. My first JSON object will be who do you want to update? Why not just update everybody with the name of Joe? So I'll update every Joe in here. I could do it with an ID. I could do any of the ones you just saw in find. I could put them in here, but I'll just update anybody with the name of Joe. So that's the first object I have right here. That's who do you want to update? So here you'll add like a find query like we just did. Then I'll do a comma 
Because what do I actually want to do? And you can do a lot of things in here. We'll just focus on setting a new name here. So I'll do a dollar sign and set to tell Mongo, now I want to change something. And let's just say I want to change, let's change, his, change every Joe's age. So every Joe in here will now get a new age. Let's give it a new age of 10. They're young, these Joes. And let's do an end parenthesis, whoops, like this. So now I should change everybody by the name of Joe into an age of 10. It says, no document has been changed. What's going on here? I don't get it. I just wrote Joe. Wait a second. Maybe Mongo is case sensitive. And it actually is. So let's put in the real Joe here. And now it actually says, one match has been modified. What? But but I found I found three matches here. What's going on? Let's see if it actually even modified one of them. Let's do a find on every Joe again. It actually did. So this Joe, the first one, actually changed his age. Hmm. What if I want to modify everybody? Well, maybe I can put in some more information here. Let's go down here in the documentation and see what if I want to update multiple. Hey, there's something here called comma and then add multiple. Interesting. Let's go back and try and update multiple here. Do, 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 do. I'll do a comma in the end here, it says, and then I'll say multi, multi, colon, true. Here we see the actual, the type of Boolean in action. You don't need any quote, um, of these guys. You just need to put in true. That's actually a Boolean value. So let's try and do this again. Oh, now it actually found three guys, but it only modified two. Why is that the case? Let's try and find everybody again. Well, and here they are. And the reason for that is that this guy was already changed. So it only modified one of them. The other ones were already set to 10. Okay, so that's how you modify. That's the U in the CRUD. So let's go back. We'll just make one more and we'll complete this course. The last one will be delete. That's actually called remove in the Mongo. So that's your full CRUD setup. Let's look, uh, get back here and look at the command prompt because I want to remove one now. So I'll write db.student.remove. And in here, I'm pretty much just define that I want to remove a Joe. So let's try and see if we can use the syntax we used before. The name, Joe. Let's just remove him. Three guys were removed. So I just want you to see that actually it removes all Joes, even though when it changes, it only changes one. So now there are no Joes left. So I was thinking, why is it removing all? Well, we can look at that later because I don't want to get into that now because this will be a long video. But now you actually know the entire CRUD setup for a database. So when we will get back, we'll look at the first exercise for you. Talk to you in a second.